Howdy, 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 my darling Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for August. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how my tarot reading helps you out. All right, Sagittarius, that's how I keep up with you guys. Today, we're going to be getting into three rows for you, Sagittarius. Your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now. Could be romantic, platonic. It's just the person on your mind right now, Sagittarius. All right, darling. Your second row, we're going to be getting into what you need to hear right now, today, Sagittarius, all right? And then in your third row, we're going to be getting into your predictions for today, Sagittarius, all right, darling? So all really interesting stuff here. All right, when it comes to consuming tarot readings online today, Sagittarius, be sure you consume more than just your one zodiac sign. Get to your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. If you want to support this channel for free, Sagittarius, just give this video a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I always appreciate those to take the extra step to do that, because I know you don't have to. Starting out your energy here, though, Sagittarius, you guys have the Five of Swords coming in here in the back of the deck. All right. Now, with this Five of Swords here, Sagittarius, the first thing I want to be pointing out to you, all right, is just, just watch your back initially here. I feel as if there's this, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like, I don't want to instill doubt for people. I feel like this comes in more so as a confirmation, Sagittarius, of where if you're speaking to somebody and you feel like what it is that you're speaking saying to that person you feel as if that's you're uh they're, they're gonna speak uh share that with others or if you feel as if like they're gonna use that to you know just even talk shit about you sagittarius just to be blunt here kind of feel that case here to be honest but it's this is going to be more so just as affirmation to those that already have that sneaking suspicion here all right i don't like this energy a lot in a social way when it comes to your career and just projects and stuff like that uh sagittarius i feel like for you just be careful about taking on too much on your own i feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities or a lot of things that you could grab at a lot of things that sound good and it's like because i'm being shown like a buffet right now sagittarius so it's like this buffet that you have presented for you and you start just stacking your plate with a bunch of things because it's just like you haven't eaten perhaps or hasn't been this good in a long time. All right. Just be careful about just overpiling yourself, overburdening, or overburdening yourself right now, Sagittarius, because I'm hearing that it's not going to like it'll come back. You can come back. All right. So don't overburden yourself right now, Sagittarius, because you're going to wish that you had the free time or the energy at a later point in time because there's still more to come there's still more to come all right so let's take a look now Sagittarius about the person that is on your mind currently all right you have the hermit the knight of swords here with the five of wands all right this is where the complications this is literally what I was just saying here Sagittarius where it's just like you're like it feels like you were talking to somebody or this is like a person where it's just like when y'all get along, y'all get along. When things are good, things are good. But I feel like this is like an energy that is just very wishy-washy with this Knight of Swords here, Sagittarius. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm very skeptical of people that are associated with the Knight of Swords because it's like they may have good intentions, but they're so easily influenced uh, mentally by like where their emotions are at. Like, this is like the type of energy where it's just like they're not like... They just are very reactive in that moment and very bipolar. You can sometimes feel as if you're getting like whiplash uh, from dealing with Knight of Swords energy. And I feel like for you, Sagittarius, this is very much so like you're noticing like the same bad behaviors or patterns with somebody. And you, I feel like this is like a time where you're starting to just feel more desiring to it's a way separating yourself from certain people all right trust in your instinct right now Sagittarius in that if you're having like the sneaking suspicion about someone being drama very much so is this is a straight up confirmation that there's drama here and make sure you do anything to avoid it darling all right so we got that with that let's clarify this though and see what your social life is going to be looking like outside of that sagittarius anything else that you need to know about people that may not even be on your minds currently let's take a look here all right you have the king of cups coming in here sagittarius i like that good sign the world energy coming in here good sign good sign king of pentacles coming in 
All right, Sagittarius. Uh, and then we have the Emperor card in the back of the deck here. Sagittarius, I get like this sense here as someone's like building up the courage is the first thing I hear. Building up the courage, setting, doing like the prep work to approach you about something, approach you about just, a, you know, it could be a, literally anything, right? It's going to be very different for all you Sagittariuses. But I feel like someone's like planning something out to speak to you like someone wants to speak to you about something here so be anticipating that someone coming forward about something when someone when someone brings up something to you Sagittarius it's not going to be the first time that they have thought about it all right it's very calculated I I know again that especially with what it is that we just had tapped into Sagittarius um comes off as that negative connotation I don't think it's inherently negative I just feel like it's important for you to know when people are approaching you uh, at this time, Sagittarius, just understand like how much prep and how much thought went into it. And so I feel like it's really important for you, Sagittarius. I don't know why I feel driven to say this, but I want you to make it a point, Sagittarius, to not immediately give your answer. Ask for time or say that you need some time before you give your answer to things, before you respond to people, because... I just, I don't know, not to say that you're reactive, but I feel like you want to match this energy. It's like, there's a reason as to why this, this person put, is so calculated with this. So I feel like it's really important to just really think it through, all right? It's really hard for me to be able to like fully go into detail of Sagittarius because again, all y'all live in different lives. I just, yeah. Don't be afraid of taking some time to respond is all I will say. All right, Sagittarius. So now let's get into uh what you need to hear at this time even though i feel like i've been kind of saying that this entire time saji you have the nine of swords with the strength card as well as the two of wands here what you need to hear at this time sagittarius is you're really anxious about the future i feel like some of you guys are really anxious about if you're going to be able to handle certain things all right i feel like for many of you guys there's like this message of where you you're just searching for outside affirmation right now, Sagittarius, to know that everything's going to work out. That's what I feel like you need. I feel like you need to be no told that everything's going to be working out. And to my best of my abilities, that's what I can say pretty confidently here. I feel like, you know, anytime I see that nine of swords energy, right? It's some, it's always represented by someone in bed representing like the sleepless nights. But it also is this sense of where it's just like this person could be easily just having a nightmare, a really bad dream, right? Where it's just like, it's just in their head. Like they dreamt of this like demon, right? But it's just the swords because the swords are, is that air energy representing your psyche, right? The swords is blocking it off really in a way, in my opinion, representing that sense of where it's like it's just in your head. And I know that can kind of come off as gaslighty Sagittarius and girl bye. I can't be bothered, right? <laughs> Take it as you will. But I just feel Sagittarius that with this strength energy here, it's not going to be like, I just feel like it's important for you to know it's not going to be nearly as bad as what you're conceptualizing it to be. In fact, I think it's going to be pretty beautiful here. All right. Because of this two of wands, two of wands is long distant future dealing with contracts. You know, this person has the world in their hands and they're the ones planning things, Sagittarius. They're in complete control. So really, I just want you to truly know, Sagittarius, that things are going to be okay. If I was doing this, I, I read tarot cards as if I'm for y'all, as if I'm reading it for myself. All right. So I truly want you to know that it's just like, if there was something that you needed to worry about, I would tell you, darling, I gain nothing from lying to y'all. All right. You have, speaking of which, the sun card clarifying this. I'm going to be doing three cards, just like I did in the first row. I think I did more than three. I did four, but we're going to do three. Sun card, right? Sun card is the best card of the tarot deck, all right? To have the sun blessing this situation here, uh, Sagittarius, that's exactly what it is that you're wanting. Things are going to, there's going to be clarity to come. You're not always going to feel like you're going to be left out in the dark with the information and all that. Like, you're going to have a clear understanding, Sagittarius, in the coming days of situations, especially of people, all right? I want to point out here, Sagittarius with this Knight of Swords. All right. Back of the deck energy still. I feel like um, certain people's behaviors and stuff are going to reveal themselves as well. Two of Swords energy here. Sagittarius. All right. 
I keep on, I don't like, I, my regulars know Sagittarius. I don't, this is not my style of reading, darling. I don't like doing stuff like this usually, but you're getting all the cards of just like shady behavior. I already brought up the awareness of the Knight of Swords again, right? And usually, you know, I'm pretty, like, I'm being very critical of this energy currently, Sagittarius. I'm going to be honest here. All right. So just be careful about who you share your stuff with right now. All right. I feel like for some of you, uh, Sagittarius, you may feel like you're being gaslit by certain people or like you feel like you're going a little bit stir crazy because it's like you're feeling things, but you can't confirm it. Like there's nothing that you can confirm. So then you're just like in this place of being like, am I just crazy or what have you? No, like clarity is going to be coming. Clarity is definitely going to be coming. Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of success. All right, personal successes where you are personally taken care of here. All right, I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you need to lean deeper into not uh, into asking for help from your spiritual team, uh, involving some type of spiritual practice or craft to your own work to bring forth further financial abundance. Some of you guys haven't been wanting to think about that. I feel, or maybe for some of you Sagittarius, you have right. I hear, but you just don't know where to begin. All right, and I. I, I always say like, I don't feel comfortable telling people what they should do with their spiritual practice because it's not my business and it's very much so to your own. But um, I just will suggest to you to explore, all right? To explore different avenues, all right? So, and find what resonates with you because what works for me, darling, is not gonna work with the majority of y'all, all right? I have a very, very rich spiritual history, darling. Many of y'all probably already know it. Number seven, is the number reaching out to you this week Sagittarius I don't know why I've never thought about it until this very moment but when I put when I see it was the number seven for y'all this week I feel like number seven is y'all's number Sagittarius just in general I just associate seven as I feel like number seven is a very Sagittarian energy but look up the number seven in numerology see what that has and I'm just now also realizing whale song this just says resonating <laughs> <laughs> this just says resonating here all right listen to your gut instinct more uh sagittarius all right trust yourself more tr you know especially because we were just talking about the gaslighting thing here trust in your gut instinct you are you are you are a shining beacon sagittarius and you're around surrounded by a lot of mosquitoes a lot of bugs all right that are attracted to that light and so I think you need to really be aware about that currently, Sagittarius. It's like you're a shining beacon and you're attracting a lot of mosquitoes. And it's important for you to acknowledge that because I feel like you're starting to get in your head a little bit about it. All right, full moon in Leo, go wild. You could be dealing with a Leo or have strong Leo in your chart. I'm not, I'm, I am gonna be honest here. I could see the, so there's a lot of similarities between yours and Leo's reading, uh, Sagittarius. So I would suggest checking out Leo's. Um, go wild, go wild. Now, I feel like for you, uh, Sagittarius, that's the sense of like being a little bit more confrontational, darling. All right, I feel like for some of you guys here, there's like this sense of like, calling something out all right there, when i see this lion here i feel like there's like this sense of confrontation and just being like you saying to somebody's like you will not speak to me this way you won't disrespect me that way like speaking your truth but it's like speaking your truth in a way where it's like you're taking a stand and commanding respect because it's like do you know who i am right you are i mean i guess you're not the lion right now i mean technically I mean, we'll just move on but it's like we'll just say it's like do you know who i am um sacred reverence here for you Sagittarius all right again like I feel for you Sagittarius you need to surround yourself like people need uh, people that you are around need to show their appreciation to you more to be honest here that's what I initially feel with this is like people need to start showing their appreciation to you more and I feel like you need to be the one to say it's just like hey Start saying thank you for everything I've done. You know, like not you just want to be acknowledged, perhaps, right? So that's what I feel for that, Sagittarius. Um, 
let's get into your predictions now, darling. All right. You have the eight and three of wands here with that page of pentacles coming in here. Really fabulous. All right. Eight of wands, quick success movement coming in here for you, Sagittarius. You're going, to, as I said earlier, all right, I feel like for you, for many of you guys, there's going to be a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that sound good to you in a quick succession, Sagittarius. And don't overfill your plate because there's still more to come. All right. There's still going to be a lot of other opportunities. Like I feel like this sense of where it's like when it first starts coming, Coming, you're just like let me just grab out everything because it's like you never know when you're gonna be able to next eat essentially right but there's just more to come and so don't have that energy of where it's just like oh like i need to keep at it now because i won't have it later because there will be more all right i do see for many of you sagittarius's leaning into like i see a new stream of revenue opening up honestly all right for those that follow the bread trail three of three of wands for those that just take action all right three of wands can represent a, in a sense of where you're being shown signs of where you need to go and once you follow where spirits is trying to guide you to fast forward momentum would be happening but i also the three of wands can represent the sense of like just needing to take action you know you see what's laid out before you you just got to take a leap of faith you got to just do it all right page of pentacles brings forth just new energy right news page of pentacles is this i feel like financially for you guys things are going to be picking up in the coming days here all right i do see that but it does require action does require that action but uh sagittarius that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you for august darling hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you if it did let me know in the comments if you want to book a reading with me simply velka Dot com is my website to do that follow me on my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all just being simply velka darling all right and i'll connect with you sometime in the near future sagittarius bye darling